San Diego County is expected to grow by more than a million people in the next 40 years. Next week, county supervisors will start public hearings on a new plan for managing that growth in San Diego's unincorporated areas. It's been more than 30 years since the supervisors last voted on a plan for the county's rural areas. KPBS reporter Allison St. John explains this plan update will determine how the growth will be accommodated. Driving east on Interstate 8, there are rolling hills and very few buildings. But there will be pressure on places like this as 200,000 more people are expected to settle in the unincorporated areas in the next four decades. There's a good one. That's a concern for Larry and Arby Johnson. They retired out here to the family ranch in Campo, about 50 miles from downtown San Diego. My mom and dad built this house in 1930. The family's been on the ranch, so the property since um, 1875, 1870s. And how do you feel then about this new plan that's coming up before the supervisors next week? Well, I think the basic thing is we'd like to keep Campo historical and the Johnson's Ranch would be downsized under the county's new general plan. In other words, fewer homes would be allowed per acre on their property if they want to develop it. But Arby Johnson doesn't mind the new restrictions. Well, when people move out here from San Diego or town, um, you know, they're wanting the open spaces and that kind of thing. And we're hoping, you know, we don't get a Walmart or something like that, which I hope never happens, <laughs> even in my children's days. Davin Muto is chief of advanced planning for San Diego County. He says the new plan actually moves future development away from areas like Campo. The majority of our future growth is going to be located in the western portion of the unincorporated area um, in our communities that are within the county water authority, which is the area served by imported water. A shrinking water supply is one reason the county is shifting its plan for future growth in unincorporated areas westward, back towards the cities. Under the existing plan created 30 years ago, 60% of the growth was planned to take place west of the county water authority line, where people can access imported water. Under the new proposed general plan update, 80% of the growth would occur in areas with access to imported water, and only 20% would be in the backcountry. Muto says much of the growth will be in communities inside the County Water Authority line. Fallbrook, Valley Center, Ramona, Lakeside, Alpine, and Spring Valley. Many residents of these communities chose to live there for the rural lifestyle and aren't happy with the proposed changes. Another change since the existing general plan was created is the risk of wildfires. Most of this area in the backcountry has a very high wildfire threat. Um, that suggests that we, we should be limiting uh, the amount of growth that's in those areas. But also, uh, we also have a limited amount of fire service in those areas because of the number of fire stations and staffing that we have available in those areas. Out in Campo, the Johnsons are very aware of the wildfire risk. Their pond was used when a fire broke out along the border last week. So we had a lot of helicopters coming in, taking water out of here and, and transporting back to the, to the fire. And so so is, is fire something you think about a lot? We think about it all the time, especially October, when the winds start to come up and the grasses have all gotten dry and, and somebody decides to even a little lawnmower or a weed eater. San Diego County is already struggling to marshal enough firefighting resources to cover the backcountry. It would take a lot of public money to put more fire stations out there. But not everyone is happy at the idea of limiting growth in the eastern part of the county. Randy Lennock retired to Big Springs Ranch in Campo over a decade ago. People are angry when they hear what's contained in this plan. Lennox says his property will be downzoned. Currently, the minimum lot size on his two-acre ranch are four, eight, or 20 acres. Under the new plan, in this area out here, it's all going to be zoned 40. And depending, that's the other thing, is there's, there's four maps. We don't know which one that the Board of Supervisors is going to approve. If the most environmentally sensitive map is, is, is um, adopted, much of this land out here is going to be 80 acre minimum lot sizes um, and in the best case 40 acre minimum lot sizes so it's it's pretty dramatic 
Lennox says this could reduce his property value by 50% or more. Though he says he has no plans to build, Lennox says the new county plan threatens to decimate the equity in his property. He and many farmers in the county plan to fight it. It's certainly within the prerogative and legal authority and responsibility of local government to look at appropriate patterns of land use and make determinations about what's appropriate and what's fair. Michael Beck, chair of the county's planning commission, says the supervisors have the right to rezone areas, but they may consider ways to compensate landowners for any loss of equity. However, it's not clear where that money would come from. Beck says the new plan is a product of 12 years of hard work with all the stakeholders, and it balances growth with preserving open space. It's not perfect in my view either, um, but it helps to drive us towards a vision that would, in the long term, protect those aspects of the county that are irreplaceable. The, the, the landscape in the backcountry, the, the open spaces, the, the desert landscapes, the, the coniferous forests that we have. These things that are unique to San Diego. But the county supervisors are likely to hear opposition, on the one hand from people who don't want to see more growth in their communities, and on the other from people like Lenach, who don't want to lose their development rights. These communities on a day-to-day -day basis struggle to survive. There's not a lot of economic drivers. Our only value is our land. Everyone in the county will be affected one way or the other by the new general plan, since water, fire protection, and open space are part of everyone's quality of life. The supervisor's challenge is to balance the competing demands and make a decision to benefit the region as a whole.